What's up guys, it is Sean, aka Hyro1969, and if you are new to my channel, by all means, welcome. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, feel free to check out some of the cool links that are at the bottom of this page right here, for example, things like my social media. Also, this video is sponsored by So Beautiful, for all of your uh, beautiful beaded necklaces and jewelry and fine crafted jewelry. By all means, click on the bottom. I wanted to do this video today. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. I haven't done a video in a little while, and I feel really bad about that. And I just feel so, ugh, like I miss you guys. I miss you, but things have just been crazy. I've been like so busy, and I'm spreading myself so thin, getting myself into shit that I shouldn't be getting myself into. But besides that, you guys remember, I did a little video, probably, well, my subscribers remember, four or five months ago, I did a little video and I showed you guys a little, uh, uh, new little addition to the YouTube channel, which was my puppy, Enzo. So I gotta tell you guys a story. If you don't believe in the law of attraction, if you don't believe in bad vibes or bad juju or any of that stuff, here's one to hopefully hopefully change your mind and somebody had asked me the other day they're like hey um how do you know that heaven is real how do you know that any of this stuff even exists i'm going to explain this to you right now there was a woman who was a long friend a long time friend of our family uh who was uh pretty cool uh we were always close our friend our family was friends with their family and yada 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 whatever well, I took this person on as a customer for my repair business, uh, which is High Roller Customs and Auto. Uh, by all means, check out that link too. Why not? I'll throw that in the bottom because I need to promote my business as well. I'm really, really good at what I do, and I'm very, very fair with prices. So I'm going to throw that in there too for some of us, our local cats who live around me who are looking to get uh, some repairs done. So, let me take this back for about a year ago. Uh, a year ago, I took on this person as a customer, and uh, she came over to the shop and everything, and as I was doing some excavating for my new shop, and I was setting up my new building, so I was doing some construction stuff, I was in a 1979 Dynaho backhoe. And this thing, uh, it's your old tired iron dinosaur, big, huge backhoe. This thing would be like... <laughs> This thing was cool as hell. I did not have uh, overinflation in my tires. I wasn't over rocks. I didn't get any punctures, no nothing like that. Flat ground. I was just doing maybe like two miles an hour. I didn't have anything in my buckets at all. So as soon as this woman pulled into my yard, my backhoe tire exploded. It was like, boom. And then all of a sudden I was like, ah. And I thought I was going over. I thought that was it. It was crazy. Cause these tires are like this tall. Like that tall, and they're like that fat, and like when they go, like you know, you know when they go. And had no idea what it was, and it was the kickoff. It was the kickoff to a bad vibe, bad juju, whatever you guys want to call it. But listen to my story first, and then afterwards, I want you to comment on the bottom, and I want you guys to tell me what you thought about the story here. So she pulls into the yard, she's honk honk, you know, and I'm all oh, my up in this thing, boom, right? And I'm like freaking out, I was like, holy oh, shit, I thought I was gonna die. So I get out of the backhoe, and this thing, I guess it was huge, so I like fall out, you know, it's like I got a like little rip cord, pull out the parachute, you know, it's like a 20 second drop to the to earth when you get out of this thing, it's so damn big. It's like, wow, I gotta, you know, like what the hell just happened? Later on that day, uh, I went ahead and did some work on her vehicle, and I call her back up and I'm like, hey, listen, your car is ready to come over, pick it up. So she comes over, she grabs it, and then she leaves. And then that day I hit a squirrel and that's when the shit started. I hit a squirrel that day. And I was like, oh my God, I never like hit a squirrel. I mean, we live up, up in the Adirondacks. We come across many animals, squirrels, porcupines, skunks, like we have roadkill everywhere. Uh, so it's kind of like not like a rarity, but it was a rarity for me. Cause I was like, Ugh, you know, you're driving all sorts of and you're like, <gasps> Gross. So then, uh, what had happened next was the next time that she came over, I'm like, okay, you know what? Hey, like, I had this, like, really crazy feeling. I was like, hey, we gotta go. So I'll see you later. So I jumped in the old uh, Honda Pilot there, started it up, and I went ahead and I put it in reverse. And now, you guys know, like, I've had chickens for a couple years. And so, like, I, my chickens are free roam. So, of course, I like, get in the Honda, and you know, there's a couple of them underneath. And as soon as you start it up, they usually, oh, 
they're, they're usually gone and they freak out. So I go ahead and I start up the old Honda Pilot. I put it in reverse and I, I just like, you know, looked around real quick, make sure that there was no chickens around, whatever. And I went ahead, backed up, you know, and all of a sudden I look forward and I see this chicken all, and like right in my tire track and he's flopping around. She's flopping around and she's dying. I ran over my chicken's head. Out of all these years, nothing like that has ever, ever happened. So then afterwards, of course, I'm driving to the next town over because I decide, hey, you know what? I want to look for a stove for my RV SUV. Stay tuned for that video. That video is awesome. It's going to be coming up uh, probably pretty shortly over here. So anyways, so I'm driving and everything, right? La, 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 la. All of a sudden, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I hit a squirrel. I hit a squirrel, B. Not only that, I felt so bad. Not because it's a squirrel. Squirrels like uh, whatever. They're just on around the rodents. But still it's an animal. And it's still gross and still I feel really bad. So I'm worried about my chicken. I'm like really upset about my chicken. I'm like, damn, I I lost my Asian chicken. I was so upset about it. And she didn't deserve to die. It was messed up. So I walk into this place, which is uh, in Lake Luzerne, and uh, it's called Serendipity. If anybody's ever looking for like a little like secondhand store, so really, as I was over there, I was looking for a grill, some other little trinket stuff, right? And I'm in there and I'm walking around, walking around, just browsing around. Next thing I know, what are the chances? I look around and I'm in a room and I'm co it's covered like wall to wall of chickens, chicken statues, chicken salt and pepper shakers, uh, little chicken plates. You know, like you put like on the shelves there. The room was just like chicken memorabilia. And I thought that that was kind of weird. Hmm. Three weeks go by. This is where the story gets worse, guys. I go, we take on the work? I do the work for her. I call her up. Hey, vehicle's done, blah, 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 come and get it. So my mother's here, they're outside, they're jibber jabbering, blah, 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 You know, they're just doing their own little talking thing or whatever. Bills to pay, and I have places to go, people to see, I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm like, let's just cut this conversation short, guys. I gotta go, I gotta go. So my mother's still out there, blah, 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 just gossiping. You know, us Italians, we call them yentas. You know, yentas in a way who just wants to gossip but just doesn't shut up. So they're, da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, yep, guess what? Yep, gotta go. I get in the car, I start it up, and I'm like, make sure there's no chickens around. I start it up and I leave. I didn't think nothing of it. You know, just thinking, okay. Maybe it's a curse, maybe it's not a curse, maybe maybe we're out of the clearing now, right? So I'm just driving, whatever. Sure in the shit. Doop, doop. Bro. Squirrel? Really? <laughs> oh my god! Really? Squirrel? Again? What the hell is it with this? It gets worse, guys. I want a curse, but YouTube won't let me. Here I am. I'm outside. Now my wife and I... We had a little spat, which is very, very unusual. My wife and I, we've been together now. The other day was our uh, 18th year anniversary together. So we had a spat and somebody came over to the house and I was laying on the couch and I was sleeping because of carb overload, I decided. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have some carbs. So I went ahead and I did it up. I'm sitting there and I'm like down on all my carbs and everything, right? 15 minutes later, I'm on the couch. Jewel, just chilling and it's dripping out all of my hand gross right usually what we do is we just ignore the door or whatever so she's like yeah no he's inside go in go in yeah knowing that i had that she he was there for me to work on his vehicle it was like 10 30 at night so i'm like uh he comes in the house he wakes me up as i was sleeping but like i said she did that intentionally as spite work because we were arguing and like I said, we never argue, so was that maybe part of the curse? So we have Enzo. Enzo is our beautiful puppy. Uh, I really didn't like him much. Like, he chewed, like, everything that belonged to me, and only things that belonged to me. Like, my coats, my expensive Carhartt coats, uh, my Beats earbuds, my Sony earbuds. Just anything that was cool that belonged to me, this dog would chew. And maybe it was because, like, he wanted attention. Maybe it was because he wanted love from me. I don't know what it was, but whatever. So Enzo was a, I mean, he was a fantastic dog outside and I'm always outside. So he was cool. So like I would take Enzo and I'd bring him outside and I'd be working out in the shop or whatever. And he'd be like right there with me and I could just be like, come on, buddy. 
and no matter where he was in the yard, there he was, right there, right at my feet. Every time I was just like, come on, buddy. Like, he could be around the building. He could be inside the building where I'm working. He could be, like, on the other side of a car 10 feet from me, and I don't even know, like, where he is. But I'd be just be, come on, Enzo. And he, would, he, was, he knew his role. He knew his spot. He never got far away or like he'd be going to chase the chickens or just having a little chicken fun and he was just a puppy so this woman comes over she picks up a car i run over a squirrel i get into a fight with my wife for the first time ever i'm outside working on a vehicle 10 30 at night or 10 30 11 o'clock at night my wife's outside she let enzo out enzo for the first time ever, and I mean for the first time ever, decides to run across the street to my neighbor's house because my neighbor never takes care of their dog. Their dog lives outside 24 seven in the cold. The dog looks like crap. He's mangy, he's not hungry, he has water, but he's not taken care of. The dog has no attention. So the dog's out there crying and crying and barking and barking, just like it does every day, like the dog doesn't stop. The dog never shuts up. So Enzo decides to run across the street to go pay a little visit to him for the first time ever. Stacy and my daughter are outside. Stacy and my wife, by the way, they're outside. Savannah's my daughter. All of a sudden, they hear this noise that sounded like this woman stopped the car, locked up her brakes, and blew out a tire. So Stacy's like, oh my God, I don't know what just happened. I jump on a bike because I have a bike with a flashlight on it. I jump on my bike and I'm like, oh, no. I ride my bike across the street. Sure enough, there's Enzo laying in a ditch. And there's a woman there with the four ways on. She's sitting there crying and crying. She's so upset. But Enzo was sitting up. He threw up. I picked him up and both of his legs were broken in the back. And I knew that things were rough. It was really, it was rough for him. I didn't know if he was going to make it. But I tried my damnedest. I tried everything. And guys, I'm so sorry to, to bust this story out to you guys. But I just have to tell it. I have to tell the story. So I take Enzo. I pick him up. I put him in the car. And my daughter and my wife were there because they drove out to the street with the car. Um, and they were just curious to like, make sure that everything was okay. And I pick him up. And right there is Savannah. And Savannah had to see it. And Savannah starts crying and screaming. And I'm like, all right, you guys go home. Don't worry about the dog. You deal with the woman who hit, the, who hit him. I got I to gotta take him. I just got to take him somewhere. I took him, I put him in the car, I set him like right down on my lap, like right on my leg. And I'm trying to call my mom and I'm like, Mom, where do I go? Like, I don't know like what I'm supposed to do. I don't know where to go. My mom is the animal expert. So I'm like, Mom, 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 she's not picking up the phone because she's on the phone. So I had to run all the way to the other side of town. I just set my four ways on, hammer it down, just... <sighs> I don't know if you guys have ever driven a Honda Pilot at full speed before on a country road, but it gets sketchy for sure. So anyways, I drive over to my mom's house, right? I'm knocking on the door, knocking on the door. She's not answering because the damn door is locked. So I was like, you know what I did? I like Johnny Cash, that shit. I was like, boop, right in the door and knocked off the mold. And I was like, mom, let's go, let's go, let's go. She's like, wow, what happened? I was like, Enzo got hit by a car. Let's go. Oh, shit. My mom was out in the car like that. She knew that I was serious. Like I had tears in my eyes. I was so upset. So she jumps in the car and I'm like, where are we going? She's like, all right, well, we got to go here, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, fine. Hammer down the whole entire way. I passed the cop doing 75 and a 30. And the cop was just like, that dude is in a rush. He has his four ways on. I'm not stopping him. To the Saratoga County Sheriff Department, thank you. Thank you so much for that. So much for not pulling me over because I had my four ways on. Obviously, the officer knew that I was in a rush and that it was an emergency. And I did not stop. I did not slow down. I just sent it right past him. He was in my 100% sight. Thank you very much, Saratoga County, for having a brain. I whole ass to the animal hospital. And the whole entire time, Enzo was just staring at me like this. Like, he had this look in his eyes like, like, daddy, help. Like, help me. And I couldn't do a damn thing. I could not do a damn thing. And he's just staring at me the whole entire time. And I'm sitting there and I'm petting him. He's on my lap. And I'm just like, Enzo, I'm so sorry for everything. If I've ever done anything wrong to you, man, I'm so sorry. And you don't deserve this. You're a puppy. You're a year old. You're such a good boy. And I'm petting him and petting him. I'm like, it's going to be okay, buddy. Either, either stick with me or go. 
either stay with me or go now, man. And all of a sudden, like, he started, like, shaking all a bit, and his breathing changed, and I just kept patting him and patting him, just driving faster and faster, as fast as I could on the most scariest, whiniest, shittiest road, Spiral Falls. For all of you local guys know Spiral Falls, yeah, like, 135 with my mom in the back and a, a dying dog on my lap. Uh, so I'm, like, going crazy. I'm patting him, and the tears are just, like, coming down. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. And then I was like, Enzo, if you gotta go, just go, dude. I'm I'm so sorry. And sure in the shit, he passed away. He passed away right on my lap, about a mile and a half, two miles away from the animal hospital. I tried to do everything that I could for this little pup. And it was like I didn't I don't know. I don't know if I felt like a failure. I I don't know. But I just had so many mixed emotions, it was absolutely ridiculous. So um you know, afterwards, I was so upset about everything. And then, like, two days later, uh, a very good relationship that I had with somebody was a very good, very nice friendship that I, I really, really loved a lot. Uh, that relationship failed. And I don't know if we're ever going to talk to each other again or not, but that was sucky. So I lost two, like, serious things that were important to me. Um, within like a couple of days and that was like so shitty. So I'm trying to process it. You know, I have, I, I went mining today and I bought this necklace right here, but inside I've been carrying, I don't know why people do this. They always do this knowing that the camera is not going to focus here. You got to get like out of here. Try to, anyways, inside of here. Is a beautiful smoky quartz. I bought the necklace, but I, I've always had the smoky quartz, so I carry that. Well, I just recently started to carry this, like the last like two days, because I need to overcome my losses. Uh, it sucks. So I have this going off me, and I have a rose quartz as well in my pocket. Uh, just kind of keeping it on me. I want to stay protected. I got to stay strong, but I got to give love, and I need to forgive, and I need to let go. Unless maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, but anyways, guys, um, I, we're like almost 20 minutes into this video and I promised myself that I was not going to do a 20 minute video. And I'm very, very sorry if I made anybody like cry, but Enzo is no longer with us. He won't be in any of our videos, unfortunately, but he'll be back. I'll bring him on, on a video because he's getting cremated. So uh, on that note, guys, thank you very much for all of your subscriptions, and thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to check out uh, So Beautiful. I am Sean, High Roller 1969 Make sure to find me on all aspects of social media. I love you guys very much, and thank you very much for watching, and thank you for your support. I love you. Peace. Bye.